So today I'm gonna to show you the quickest way that you can clean up your fire stick. That will speed it up, it will reduce buffering, it will basically make it work that much better. And this way I'm gonna show you is really, really simple. It requires no apps whatsoever. It's the quickest way you've ever been able to do it on your fire stick. So stick around and we're gonna show you how you can do that. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, we are going to show you today how you can clean up your fire stick. Now cleaning it up does keep it running smoother, keeps it running better, makes it run quicker. It should buffer much less. And even better still, this way of doing it requires no extra apps to be loaded. I don't like loading extra apps on the system to clean up anyway, because apps take up space in themselves. And you'll probably find most of the time the amount of space that the app takes up that you have to load onto your Fire Stick or any device probably equates to your space saving anyway. So you're no better off. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go back to the main menu and I'm just gonna go across to settings over there on the right. Then I'm gonna go down and across to applications. And then you might see here on your device, clear all application caches. Now, if you don't see that, press the back button on your remote control and then go into My Fire TV, go into About and then go down to Check for Updates, middle button on the remote control and just make sure that your Fire TV is up to date. If it's not, then let it update. If it's saying it's up to date and you've still not got it, just keep checking for updates on the odd occasion. Hopefully at some point in the near future, you should get an update which will give you this option. So you might have to be patient for it. But as of the 4th of September, I have got this option on my Fire Stick. So what we used to have to do to clear out our caches before was we used to have to go into Manage Installed Applications and we had to go down the list of every application and we either had to go into it and then go to Clear Cache or more recently, Amazon gave us a quick way by pressing the rewind button on our remote control, but we had to do that for each individual app, which was laborious. Now, you might be thinking, is it safe to delete the cache? Well, yes, cache is only temporary storage. It doesn't actually wipe out any saved information. It's just the temporary working storage that builds up over time and can be safely deleted. It's more, it's the data. That's what you shouldn't delete unless you wanna reset the app. The data stores things like your settings. It might store your login details. So if you clear the data, it could wipe out any settings that you've set in a certain app. It could also log you out of that app and mean you've got to log back in again. Let's just go back to clear all caches. As I said there, I've got, I've used 6.21 gigabytes. Let's go down to clear all application caches, press the middle button on the remote control, and there you go. It says here, clear all application caches. Are you sure you want to delete the caches of all installed applications? Deleting will free up 670 megabytes of storage are you sure you want to continue? So if you're sure, then make sure that confirm is highlighted, press the middle button on the remote control, and then give it a few seconds, go back up to manage installed. And as you can see there, there you go. I've got more available and less used space. So that's cleared out 600 odd megabytes on my Fire Stick. Now, how often should you do this? This is something I'm asked all the time. Well, what I would say is, perhaps do this once a month. Or if your Fire Stick is slowing down, if you're suffering from buffering frequently, or you're having glitches, then do it there and then. But other than that, perhaps do it once a month. You don't really need to do it any more often than that. It's just wasting time. So there you go. That was a quick and easy way to clean up your Fire Stick or your Fire TV Cube.
I hope you liked this video and if you did consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel or if you can't do that then have a look in the description down below we've got some great links down there for you to various things including my Amazon shop which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon fire TV sticks fire TV cubes and VPNs buying subscribing and donating really does help support this channel it helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos and whilst you're at my YouTube channel why not stick around I've got thousands of other videos for you right here right now covering all sorts of subjects hopefully whilst you're here you're going to find something to educate you entertain you amuse you and maybe even save you some time and money